Okay, that relaxes me. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, what's the video about? Whether you're about to breach into DB Dozen or you're just starting out on your dragon's journey, this video is for you. We're gonna tell you the teams to aim for, the monsters to keep, and runes you'll need to tackle this amazing assignment. Welcome to the 2021 Beginner's Guide to Dragons B10 and B12. If you're in B11, I don't know what to tell you, dude. Sorry. Before we get into the teams proper, there are a couple things that you need to know before you go into dragons. There are two types of teams that you'll bring into the dungeon. Your team will either be a team with high damage that will kill the dragon before him or the towers take a turn, or even right after one of them takes only one turn. Or a team that focuses on control to make sure that you can strip away the immunity that the tower is going to be trying to put on the dragon, or make it so that that tower never gets a turn to begin with. Let's start with teams that you can use in DB10 and will help you transition to DB12. There's a lot of room for variety in Summoner's War, but not in this video. We're going to recommend Verd be on every single team in the following few minutes. <laughs> and if you don't know how to ruin your Verd, you can check this video right here. And if by any chance you have a team that doesn't feature Verd on them, we're very curious to hear about it. Dr. Yozu! Opa. Your starting DB10 team is going to be Verd, Sig, 2A Spectra, Bella, and either Lauren or Fran. And if you look really closely, there's a tiny little asterisk next to Lauren and Fran, because if you happen to have a Veramos, he can also be subbed in there as well. In 2021. In 2021, you have a Veramos. That's fascinating. I want to learn more about you. This team can also transition into DB12, but with a couple caveats. Your Lauren has to have at least 80% accuracy, since you guys know that resist is a big deal it's with a the dragon. Thing. It's a real thing. And the other one is that you might want to include Lauren in your base team, because having two strippers is much more reliable than just having the one. For your DB10 starter team, you're gonna be using the runes that you got from GB10. So your Swift runes, your Fatal, your Blades. By the time you transition into DB12, all these teams should be on violent. And if by any chance you're still only farming DB10, let's remember that the twins, Shina, Talia, and Sabrina are extremely good here because the dragon doesn't have as much HP as the B12 version. You can still just shred through the HP at this point. Now on to DB12. Something to keep in mind is that you should choose the team that's right for you, meaning whichever one is easiest for you to acquire, or whatever monsters you already have. The first team features Verd, Lauren, Vigor, 2A, Spectra, 2A, and Chili. Surprisingly, this team with two strippers, attack bar reduction for the towers, death break and some damage is 100% safe. The Vigor comes in with damage, death break, and the heal to keep your team alive. And let's remember, you probably already have a Spectra for TOA Hell and TOA Hard, and also that Vigor is useful not only in RTA, but in guild content. How many Vigors each, each one of you have? I got four. I got three, I got two. So I have five. <laughs> oh, I guess five. what? If you're feeling a little spicy and you want to style the dragon, you can also go for Verd, Spectra, Lauren, 2A Tatu, and the Water Homunculus. This one's going to require a little bit more farming on your part to get going, but the payoff is very satisfying. And you can also bring the new 2A of Seth to have more damage and kill the dragon faster. If by any chance you were around at the time when we gave out Ken to everyone in the game, then you can do this. This team consists of Bird and Lauren that are on almost every team, Raok that we haven't seen here today yet, surprisingly, Spectra, and finally Ken. This team has strip, AoE attack bar reduction, and lots of death break and damage. Next is Trickaroo, which is the most famous and consistent of the DB12 teams out there. There is a high stat check though, because you need to reach that defense prerequisite on three different 2A Trickaroos. <laughs> I call them three different Trickaroos as if they don't exist on their own. <laughs> it's like the Icaroo is not They're a monster. Like, no it's either use, three yeah, or, or zero. Nothing. If by any chance it's getting hard for you to reach that amount of defense to make them all pull each other every time, you can always use the Fire Gargoyle with the Termination Runes, remembering that he has to be the fastest on your team, so he takes the first turn, becomes statue, and is never pulled by any of the Trickaroos. Right, so he's not actually slowing your team down, he's just contributing to the defense stat. If you've got your Trickaroo team already set up and you're 
actually trying to get in a little bit faster, then you can try throwing in Aster the Fire Magic Knight as well. Or if you're still having a difficult time reaching the defense, remember that you can put hug runes on everybody involved. And if you're asking yourself about the amount of defense needed for all trick runes to pull three people on every attack, it's 3,300. Remembering that you have to count your towers. So having max defense tower helps a lot right here. Was that the mom minivan tower? Looking for safety? There's your mom minivan, AKA Guardstone. Tons of airbags, one for each child. Last thing about the Tricaroos is that their damage is based on attack. So that attack buff that they get and the amount of attack that you put on runes for them will help you speed up your run and make it even safer. There is an alternative to the Trickaroo team as well. It's the Verd, Lauren, Double Raok, and the Light Homie team. This one is admittedly a little less consistent and you wanna make sure that you're getting the Light Homie that has the script variation on the first skill. Rune are on high accuracy as well and it's almost like having three Icarus that are pulling your team constantly. Oh wait, we didn't do an outro. Dude, I hate the outro. Okay, let's completely be honest. Just make the Trickaroo team forget about it. <laughs> Dude, it's so good, but it takes a while. This is just a band-aid. And the faster you rip it off, the easier it's gonna be in the yeah, long run, right? Just make a trickaroo. If we nerf the trickaroo, then I never said this.